The ghost of corruption has continued to haunt Geraldine Sali, who is currently in prison over charges of financial loss and conspiring with members of parliament to steal compensation funds to the defunct cooperative unions. Sali was in the position of the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives until the wrath of the law called to her offside on corruption saga. As Geraldine Sali continues to prove her innocence in the anti-corruption court, President Yoweri Museveni has appointed Alex Kakoza as a caretaker in the office. Kakoza, who is the current principal private secretary to the vice president, is the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Trade until the appointing authority clears the next move. The secretary to the cabinet, Lucy Nachobe, confirmed the appointment. Following the issues that Geraldine Sal is involved in, mm. she has been taken to court and charged. Yes. The law requires that we go ahead and interdict her. Mm. And when we interdict her, there is a gap that is created. Mm. In the absence of her, that means the Ministry of Trade has no accounting officer. Okay. And the Ministry without accounting officer cannot run. Mm. So, as a stop that, I appointed the Kako that mm. So, right now, it's the Ministry. Mm. CPS the vice president, but caretaking the ministry of trade, and we see how the court progresses with studies case. Okay, so madam, uh, when you say caretaking, what is the legality, and how long do you think he will um, be uh, acting as a caretaker to the ministry? The that he will be appointing also who is the president. Mm. That the contract is about to expire. Mm. So should it expire and the president still does not want to wait for the court process, mm. it point a substantive fee. Okay. But if the president wants to wait for the court process, he mm. can wait. That mm. is not innocent. Then he probably can consider her for employment again. Okay. In the recent report of Parliamentary Committee on Trade and Tourism, the investigations pinned the Minister of Trade for adjustments in the amount paid to the defunct cooperatives after the results showed that the Minister of Trade paid amount over and above the appropriated sum by Parliament. The matter has since witnessed Geraldine Sally, members of Parliament, some members of parliament, including Mawanda Michael and Paula Kamba, and some lawyers being arrested and charged before the anti corruption court. Daniel Mugoya, UBC News.